Hey guys, we are at our next flip, 4921 Buckingham Drive. Located just right down the road from Park Road Shopping Center. Come inside and check it out with us. Hi, welcome to 4921 Buckingham. We just closed on this one last week. No idea what we're doing yet, but let's take a tour. We have a little hallway here. We'll probably be gutting almost everything, but we have a room on this side. And then we have a little pink bathroom in here. It's a full bathroom and check out that mirror. Additionally, we have two bedrooms in the back. This one was the master bedroom. And these floors are real hardwood still. And the previous owner loved it. So we're gonna try to take it out and create a little wooden accent wall in the kitchen or the dining room. Here we have the guest bedroom. Like I said, we're just gonna be trying to tear down everything. We have a Carolina blue kitchen. Cat wallpaper. You have your steel counters where the water just drained down. This house is six years old. The owners actually added on to this one a few years back and they wanted to create a space where she was able to look at all the birds that she loved. So you have a huge backyard, it's one of the largest in the lots, and bird feeders all throughout the back. Beautiful. We obviously don't have a set plan right now, but uh, construction-wise, I can tell you what we're gonna do a little bit of. All these walls are going down. Uh, we'll probably put some steel beams in here if we have to, to carry the, the open load. This room is super cool, um, not, not very useful for a regular family for you know what we sell so unfortunately we're gonna have to take it down we're adding a second story on this most likely a master will be up there with two other bedrooms and a study down here we're gonna open up the floor plan you'll have a nice little uh, kitchen probably along that wall if I had to guess dine in on that side and then we're kind of sitting where the study will be second floor additions is we take this eight-foot ceiling up to a nine-foot ceiling so you create a lot more open space just just from that We'll be extending the house back as well to gain some more square footage and we can probably use some of this as the, the actual crawl um, and then we'll dig footers around. Bring like a really nice deck off the back, maybe even covered and make this, you know, like a really nice backyard for a small family to move into and call this a home. I'm so excited to get started on this one. Next up are drawing up the plans, getting the engineer's stamp, get this house demoed as much as possible, tear off the roof, make some awesome nine foot ceilings and a 2,600 square foot house. We started demoing end of September of 2021. <laughs> this is wild. And the house was listed around end of July of 2022. That's about 10 months. So when we got to demo, we discovered the framing was not to standard framing, even for back in the 50s. Yeah. These aren't even two by fours. They're like two by threes or something. Two by threes, spaced 12 inches apart. Typically you see those in sheds or mobile homes, not a full blown house. We knew we had some more work to do, which involved obviously extra demo because we couldn't use those walls anymore. And then we had to get the engineer to reevaluate and put new plans together. I had to file for a whole other demo permit, which is yep. totally separate through the city. That's so just like was... extra money, like racking up. Yeah, yeah <laughs> kind of absolutely. Money. Walk into the entryway, got all the exterior framing done for the first floor. Dining, huge dining area over there. We are just finishing up framing and starting our rough trades, as you can probably see behind me. Standing in our new addition portion of the house where we went back about 12 feet on this section and then the living area about, I think about five feet, raised the roof and made a second story out of it. We basically created a very large dining area, huge bay window overlooking a really deep lot for this area. Right here, it allows us to open up the kitchen floor plan too, where we have this massive island that's gonna be going in right here, sink in the middle, and then lining up with the sink is gonna be a stove um, gas range uh, with a hood. Cabinets are gonna be wrapping around here to what will be you know, butler's pantry, um, just a large area where you can store food, you can do your coffee there if you'd like. 
All right, guys, so we are upstairs in what is the master bedroom of the house, bumped out about six feet. All this space back here is actually the deck, so you have a covered deck as well. This six feet bump out plus what's bumped out down there and then going vertical gets us to probably 27, 2800 square feet. This house, remember, was about 800 square feet, so huge numbers. And it allows us to modernize the floor plan to where you can have a large master and then great use of the space back here for your, your shower. This is probably the largest shower we've made. Ultra luxurious feel to it. You know, you can just basically stand here and get hit by shower heads all day. And then a large master closet too, so you're not really sacrificing on space. Within the span of, what, four, four and a half months, we went from a framed up house, finally, to what you're looking at. Something that we did on the design side with this house is we definitely amplified the landscaping piece. When you walk in, you can kind of see how expansive the house is. Biggest renovation, biggest build for us. Biggest budget. Biggest budget, definitely. It's super modern in the way we look at houses and floor plans these days. Open, but you know, it stacks very well. We're able to get more of a budget, so I was able to play with the design a little bit more. We had a expanded budget on this house. We got to put in some really cool finishes, standing in this awesome kitchen. First, we have Calcutta Quartz. That yeah. has never happened in any of our houses. Because we were able to do the waterfall piece, I was able to customize our island panel. We had the carpenter put it in, and then we had the painter stain it, and then Mindy and I ended up coming in and doing a white wash. We were able to actually do that custom like stain throughout the whole kitchen. So we have it on like our hood vent as well. It's cool that we have this painted island on the other side, the gray painted to hit this tone in here. So the island is my favorite. What would you say would be yours? It's probably the upgraded appliance package yeah. that we have in this house. All in all, you know, money well spent, I think. How about that pot filler though? The pot filler is, if you guys don't have this in your house and you're remodeling, I think this is a really cool addition to have. We got good, inexpensive square footage, allowing us to have a really cool detail with a vaulted ceiling in here. This dining room space is pretty large, so I think we ended up making the dining room light 50 inches. And lastly, so our butler's pantry, we have these barn doors. They're beautiful, they're huge, and they're black. And they literally walk in and you have just so much more space. A lot of builds don't utilize space underneath the staircase. So what we're able to provide is more storage area. We had to actually do this because we put this odd window, what looks like an odd, oddly placed window, but when you look at it from the outside, you'll kind of see why that window is there. It's all for the elevation, all to make the house look symmetrical from the outside. It's a bigger house, so the number of details to consider are exponentially larger, and then we are trying to hit a bit of a higher price point. And okay. so there's an added pressure with that as well. So downstairs, we have a single vanity bathroom. We have a waterfall faucet with gray cabinets as well. These actually came um, with a stock color from the company we bought them from, so they don't match the rest of the house, but it still goes with the overall gray vibe. Then you have a circular mirror that goes with the circular lights that we have. And then to complete the geometry in this whole bathroom, behind me we have our tile and it's that weave direction that we've done before. This time we did it with some different tile. It has more of that texture feeling to it. So it's keeping it simple with the colors, but it's also just creating a little bit of a different look than a basic white tile. We designed the staircase not to have winders, so when you're walking, you walk up to a true platform and then make a turn and get to the second floor. I think the trend the past couple years has been to stay you know, on the lighter side when it comes to choosing your stained colors. It makes the house a little bit more lighter, warmer, airy, and it allows the buyer in turn to play a little bit more with their actual style when they're moving into the house. 
This was legit the hardest tile for us to get <laughs> ever. The texture part is cool and then the shapes. It it has it has an actual design. You, you don't see it, but there is an actual method to the madness on this. It's not like he just laid it in. Um, so that's a super cool part. The midnight blue vanities are clutch, goes perfectly with the gold. This this in itself is perfect. And then you get like the Carrera look in this tile and get the gray catching everything with the golds. I don't know if we ever talk about that, but we always take the tile to the ceiling. This is a bathroom I would see in like a million dollar house. No question about it. It's beautiful. So let's actually talk some numbers. Um, the door package for this house, we used full core doors, um, which are a lot more heavy and weighty and were great for soundproofing. Um, and the door and trim package came at right around $6,000. The flooring, uh, while we're talking numbers, came in right around 12,000. The framing package for this house actually did come in a little over budget um, as we did have a few snags at the beginning, um, but we came in right around $60,000 for the entire framing package. All right, so when you leave the guest bath, you'll notice that all the bedrooms are off the hallway, including the laundry. But the coolest thing is when you get to the end of the hallway, you're met with this super cool accent wall. This one was actually a very last minute addition that we decided to do it. So we had to keep it very much on the simple side. So it's literally just diagonal two by fours. One by fours. One by fours. Thanks. <laughs> Obviously, I don't do the construction piece. And then the coolest part is it comes off to the master suite. This is the biggest room we've ever done. And we also have a light in here. Sometimes I go back and forth between, between doing like bedroom fans and having chandeliers in the master bedrooms. This was just such a huge room. We not only were able to put a light in here, we also put four LED lights to help with the lighting. Something that we've also done is like changing our light bulbs to warm white. Yeah. We were doing daylight white before and it was kind of blinding. <laughs> I don't know how we did so many houses with that. Because <laughs> I loved it and I, I don't know any better. We've got these cool sliding barn doors. We've never done these before, but they're super nice. Massive. Huge. Tile wise, we did 24 by 48 tile, stacked it. I love how we were able to put the shower heads on like both sides of the wall. Cause it's literally so huge. Like two people could be showering here at the same exact time and like not have any problem with each other. Welcome to this awesome back porch. Lots of great mood lighting here, lovely fan. Also, this is the first house that we've actually done a privacy wall, which is great because neighbors, of course, in the city are quite close to one another. And then this awesome, huge backyard is just incredible for the location, especially. I think this is the largest lot in the neighborhood. I think the buyers are gonna be really happy with this space out here. So there you have it, 4921 Buckingham Drive. We had time flipping this house, a lot of ups, a lot of downs, but it came together just how we imagined it. If you like this video, send it to a friend that you think might also like it. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Check us out on IG, QC Flippers. And we'll catch you on the flip, flip side. side. Bye. <laughs>